Hello everyone, welcome back to my nursing hub. Today in this video, we are going to see Rosemary Resource Parses, Human Becoming Theory. Before going into the theory, first let's have a basic idea about Parses theory. So Parses approach to nursing differs from the traditional model of practice. So we know the basic model of practice is involved in some of the stages that is assessment, nursing diagnosis, planning, interventions and evaluation. So in Parses human becoming theory, persons are not reduced into the biopsychosocial problems considered in the traditional model does not put any expectations on persons to behave according to societal norms or medical definitions of health. Rather, persons are viewed as irreducible, unfolding mysteries who define health according to personal meanings, values, choices and desires. So, each person may have different kind of ideas and their belief is different. So, Parse gives more important for each person rather than the basic definition of health or any environment whatever it is the approach to nursing is guided by the personal perspectives of individuals rather than rather than by nursing diagnosis which capture nurses perspectives Parsis theory guides nurses in practice to seek to understand rather than to change or manage persons lived experience of health when we see about parse she had her education from the University of Pittsburgh. She published her theory of nursing, that is man living health in 1981. That name changed to the theory of human becoming in, in 1992. She was editor and founder of Nursing Science Quarterly. She has published eight books and hundreds of articles about human becoming theory. And she is a professor at Loyola University, Chicago. Many of the theorists like Dilthey, Heidegger, Sandre, Sandre Merleau Ponty, and Martha Rogers they have influenced in the development of her theory. The assumptions underpinning the theory were synchronized from works by the European philosophers. The theory is structured around three abiding themes that is meaning, rhythmicity, and transcendence. Now let's see the ontology or the nature of existence of Parsis theory. So the assumptions, postulates and principles of the human becoming paradigm make up the ontology. So in the ontology, there are nine fundamental assumptions about human universe, ethos of human becoming and living quality. And these assumptions are finally turned into some of the themes, three themes that we will see in the next slides. So the human becoming theory has evolved over time first it was the human becoming nursing theory then it became the human becoming school of thought and by 2016 it had evolved to the human becoming paradigm so that's that is the one that is the one we can see in this table the human becoming paradigm the nature of existence the human becoming paradigm makes explicit that co-creating reality as a seamless symphony of becoming is the central thought foundational to the ontology of human becoming. Several new concepts have emerged with the new paradigm and they include the following that is human universe is indivisible, unpredictable and ever-changing co-creation. The ethos of human becoming is dignity, presence, existence, trust and worth and leaving quality as the becoming visible, invisible becoming of the emerging now. So this is mainly about the assumption. So there are the uh, Parsis assumptions are mainly based on three things. One is human universal, human universe, and the second one is ethos, and the third one is leaving quality. In creating human becoming Parsi. Uh, drew on Droger's principles of helicity, integrality and resonancy and her postulates. That is, her postulates were energy field, openness, pattern and pan-dimensionality. These ideas underpin Parse's notions about the person as open beings who relate with the universe illimitability, illimitably, that is, with indivisible, unbounded, knowing, extended to infinity and who are indivisible, unpredictable, ever-changing and recognizable by pattern. And also, 
she uses the prefix ko on many of her words to denote the participative nature of persons so ko means together with and for parsi humans can never be separated from their relationship with the universe thus her conceptualizations of human becoming and human universe as one word relationship with the universe include all the linkages humans have with the other people and with the ideas projects history and culture so the nine assumptions are human universe is indivisible unpredictable ever changing human universe is co-creating reality as a seamless symphony of becoming human universe is an illimitable mystery with contextuality constructed pattern preferences ethos of human becoming is dignity ethos of human becoming is august presence a noble bearing of imminent distinctness ethos of human becoming is abiding truths of presence existence trust and worth living quality is the becoming visible invisible becoming of the emerging now living quality is the ever changing wordness of becoming living quality is the personal expression of uniqueness and we can see the postulates made by parse the four postulates further specify ideas embedded within parse school of thought illimitability first one is illimitability illimitability second is paradox third is freedom and fourth is mystery so the first one is illimitability which represents parse's thinking about the indivisible unpredictable ever changing nature of human becoming parse stated illimitability is the unbounded knowing extended to infinity the all at once remembering and prospecting with moment indivisible unbounded knowing is a privileged knowing accessible only to the individual living the life and the second is paradox paradox has always been affiliated with human being and parse is bringing it forth as the postulate that permeates all theoretical principles emphasizes the importance of paradox with the human human universe co-creation she stated paradoxes are not opposites to be reconciled or dilemmas to be overcome but rather are lived rhythms or expressed as pattern preference so humans make sorry so humans make choices about how they will be with paradoxical experiences and continuously make choices about where to focus their ex- attention for example all humans live paradoxical rhythms of certainty and uncertainty joy or sorrow and others they move with the rhythm of their paradoxical experiences at times focusing on certainty or joy for instance yet always having an awareness of living the uncertainty or sorrow inherent in situations likewise the third one is freedom freedom although a cornerstone of parse's early thinking is seen in the new light in her most recent thinking parse stated that freedom is contextually constructed liberation people have freedom within their situations to choose ways of being and the last one is mystery so mystery is the fourth postulate is presented in a more specific way as something special that transcends the conceivable and as the unfathomable unknowable uh, that always accompanies the indivisible unpredictable ever changing human universe so mystery is never explainable and completely known unequivocally now let's see the principles concepts and paradoxes so the first principle is so there are mainly three principle first principle is structuring structuring meaning so structuring meaning is the imaging and valuing of language languaging as according to parse in 2014 this principle specifies that person structure or choose the meaning of their realities and this choosing happens with explicit tacit knowing sometimes questions are not answerable because people may not know why they think or feel one way or another the first principle posits that people create their reality illimitably 
with others and they show or language their reality in the ways they speak and remain silent and in the ways they move and stay still as people language their realities they language their value priorities and meanings according to the according to this principle so this principle has got three concepts they are imaging valuing and languaging which you can see in the right side of the slide so the first one is imaging first concept so the first concept imaging is explicit tacit or reflective pre reflective so the first concept of the first principle is the imaging the paradoxes of imaging are explicit tacit and reflective pre reflective imaging is an individual's view of reality it is a shaping of personal knowledge in explicit and tacit ways some knowing is a reflective deliberate process whereas other knowing is pre reflective for parse people are inherently curious and seek answers the answers to questions emerge as persons explore meaning in light of reality and their view of things imaging is a personal interpre interpretation of meaning possibility and consequence so the nurses cannot completely know another's imaging but they explore respect and bear witness as people struggle with shaping exploring integrating rejecting and interpreting so in the context of nursing so when a patient comes to the hospital so they may come with different problems so the nurses may not know what are the problems of the patients so the nurses can check with them we, they can explore uh, with the by the use of respect or uh, they can witness some of the things and uh, they can mold the patient patient into a, into a proper person second one is valuing so valuing is confirming not confirming so this concept is about how persons confirm and do not confirm beliefs in light of a personal perspective or world view persons are continuously confirming not confirming beliefs as they make choices about how to think act and feel these choices may be consistent with prior choices or they may be radically different and require a shifting of value priorities sometimes people may think about anticipated choices and once the choices arrive they change their thinking and direction in life values reflect what is important in life of a person or a family for parse living one living one's value priority is how an individual expresses human becoming nurses learn about person's value by asking them what is most important and the third concept is languaging so languaging is mainly by speaking being silent moving or being still so languaging is a concept that is visible and relates to how humans symbolize and express their image realities and their value priorities when languaging is visible to others it is expressed in patterns that are shared with those who are close family members or close friends often share similar patterns such as speaking moving and being quiet people disclose things about themselves when they language and when they are silent and remain still nurses witness the languaging that people show but cannot know the meaning of the languaging to understand the languaging nurses needs to ask people what their words their actions and gestures mean it is possible that person still may still may not know the meaning of their languaging and in that case the nurse respects the process of coming to understand the meaning of a situation explicating meaning takes time and people know when it is right to illuminate the meaning and significance of an event or happening so now let's move again to the second principle so that is configuring rhythmical patterns it is the revealing concealing and enabling limiting of connecting separating so this principles mean that human beings create patterns in day to day life and these patterns tell about personal meanings and values in the patterns of relating that people create many freedoms and restrictions surfaces with choices all patterns involve complex engagements and disengagements with people 
ideas and preferences the second principle has three concepts they are revealing concealing enabling limiting and connecting separating so first let's see the first concept that is revealing concealing so revealing concealing is the first concept of the second principle the paradox of revealing concealing is disclosing not disclosing so it is the way the person disclose and keep hidden the persons they are becoming with the becoming visible invisible becoming of the emerging now there is always more to tell and more to know about self as well as others sometimes people know what they want to say and they deliver messages about what is becoming visible to them with great clarity at other times people may surprise themselves with the messages they give as what is becoming visible shifts and changes with the invisible becoming of their emerging now some aspects of reality and experience remain concealed people also disclose not disclose differently in different situations and with different people patterns of revealing concealing are co-created and intimately connected with other intentions of those persons co-creating the moment in choosing how to be with others nurses co-create what happens when they are with the persons and the second one is enabling limiting so it is connected with the paradox potentiating restricting enabling limiting is related to the potentials and opportunities that surface with the restrictions and obstacles of everyday living every choice even though made pre reflectively has potentials and restrictions it is not possible to know all the consequences of any given choice therefore people make choices amid the reality and ambiguity every choice is pregnant with possibility in both opportunity and restriction this is verified in practice daily when patients and families say things like this is the worst thing that could have happened to our family but it has helped us in many ways enabling limiting is about choosing from the possibilities and living with the consequences of those choices nurses bear witness to others as they contemplate the options and anticipated consequences of difficult choice then the third concept is connecting separating the paradox connected with connecting separating is attending distancing the concept relates to the ways person create patterns of connecting and separating with people and projects patterns created reveal value priorities connecting separating is about communion aloneness and the ways people separate from some from some to join with others connecting separating is also about the paradox attending distancing and explains the way two people can be very close and yet separate sometimes there is I connecting understand that sorry sometimes there is connecting when people are separating because persons can dwell with an absent absent person with great intimacy especially when grieving for another's nurses learn about persons patterns of connecting separating by asking about their important relationships and projects then the third principle is contrasting with possibilities so this is the powering and originating of transforming the meaning of this principle is that persons continuously change and unfold in life as they engage with and choose from infinite possibilities about how to be what attitude or approach to have whom to relate with and what interests or concerns to explore choices reflect the person's way of moving and changing with the becoming visible invisible becoming of the emerging now the three concept of this principle are as follows that that, that that we can see in the next side they are powering originating and transforming so uh, first one is powering so the first concept of the third principle is connected with the paradoxes pushing resisting affirming not affirming and being not being powering is a concept that conveys meaning about struggle and life and the will to go on despite hardships and threat parse describes powering as pushing resistance that is always happening and that affirms being in light of the possibility of non being people constantly engage being and non being non being is about loss and the risk of death and rejection 
powering is the force exerted the pushing to act and live with the purpose amid possibilities for affirming and holding what is cherished while simultaneously living with the loss and the threat of non being there is resistance with the pushing force of powering because persons live with others who are powering with different possibilities in the visible invisible becoming of the emerging now conflict according to parse presents opportunities to clarify meanings and values and nurses enhances process by being present with persons who are exploring issues conflicts and options then the next concept is originating so it's about human uniqueness and holds the following two paradoxes that is certainty and certainty and confirming not confirming people strive to be like others yet they also like also strive to be unique choices about originating occur with the reality of certainty and certainty it is not possible to know all that may be, all may come from the choosing to be different or from choosing to be like others for some there is danger in being too much like others for others the danger is in being different each person defines and lives originating in light of their world view and values originating and creating a new in a part is a pattern that goes coexists with constant constancy and conformity humans craft their unique patterning of originating as they engage the possibilities of everyday life nurses witness originating with persons choosing how they are going to be with the changing health patterns and the next concept is transforming so the third concept of the third principle is about the continuously changing and shifting views that people have about their lives as they live what is becoming visible to them with the invisible becoming of their emerging now people are always struggling to integrate the unfamiliar with the familiar in living everyday everydayness when new discoveries are made people change their understanding and life patterns and world world views shift with the insights that illuminate a familiar situation in the new light transforming is the ongoing change co-created as new information and insights become visible in the emerging now as people find ways to change in the direction of their cherished hopes and dreams nurses in the way they are present with others help or hinder a person's effort to clarify their hopes dreams and decide directions so there are three themes arise from the assumptions of human becoming paradigm first one is meaning second one is rhythmicity and the third one is transcendence so the first one is meaning so meaning is born in the messages that person give and take with others in speaking moving silence and stillness so meaning indicates that the significance of something and is chosen by people outsiders cannot decide the meaning or significance of something for another person for example nurses cannot know what it will mean for a family to hear news of an unexpected illness or change in health until they learn the meaning of it holds from the family's perspective or we can't de- uh, uh, the nurses can't decide whether the person has to undergo a particular surgery we can tell the person that the person has to undergo surgery that will be more beneficial for the patient but the ultimate decision will be taken by the person itself sometimes the significance of something is not known until meaning is explored and possibilities ex- examined personal meanings are shared with others when people express their views concerns hopes and dreams according to parse meaning is connected with the moments of day to day living as well as the meaning of me- meaning or purpose of life so that's about meaning second one is rhythmicity so rhythmicity is about patterns and possibility parse suggests that people live unrepeatable patterns of relating with others ideas objects and situations their patterns of relating incarnate their priorities and these patterns are changing constantly as they integrate new experience experiences and ideas with what is becoming visible invisible in the emerging now 
ഇപ്പോൾ പാർസെ പീപ്പിൾ ആർ റിക്കഗ്നൈസ് ബൈ ദർ യുണീക് പാറ്റേൺസ് പീപ്പിൾ ചേഞ്ച് ദർ പാറ്റേൺസ് വെൻ ദ ഇൻറ്റഗ്രേറ്റ് ന്യൂ പ്രയോറിറ്റീസ് ഐഡിയാസ് ആൻഡ് ഡ്രീംസ് ആൻഡ് ഷോ കൺസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് പാറ്റേൺസ് ദാറ്റ് കണ്ടിന്യൂ ലൈക്ക് ത്രെഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫെമിലിയാരിറ്റി ആൻഡ് സെയിംനെസ് ത്രൂ ഔട്ട് ദ ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് ദ തേർഡ് വൺ ഇസ് ട്രാൻസെൻഡൻസ് സോ ട്രാൻസെൻഡൻസ് ഇസ് എ തേർഡ് മേജർ തെയിം ഓഫ് ദ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബിക്കമിംഗ് പാരാഡിം ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് അബൌട്ട് ചേഞ്ച് ആൻഡ് പോസിബിലിറ്റി the infinite possibility that is human becoming the possibilities arise with as options from which to choose personal ways of becoming to believe one thing or another to go in one direction or another to be persistent or let go to struggle or acquiesce to be certain or uncertain to hope or despair all these options surface in day to day living considering and choosing from these options is contrasting with the possibilities now let's see the nursing paradigm and parses theory so the first one as always we know it is person so a person is an open being who is more than and different from the sum of the parts the second is environment environment is everything in the person and his experiences and it is inseparable complementary to an evolving with so in all her theory from the beginning onwards we have seen human being is a human being is always in contact with the environment and the next paradigm is health so health is an open process of being and becoming involves synthesis of values and the last one is nursing is a human science and art that uses a abstract body of knowledge to serve people so here you can see the symbol of human becoming theory so here we can see black and white that is opposite paradox significant to ontology of human becoming and green is hope and the center joint is co created mutual human universe process at the ontological level and nurse person process and the last one is green and black swirls intertwining that is human universe co creation as an ongoing process of becoming when it comes to the strength and weakness first let's see the strengths so it differentiates nursing from other disciplines it practice provides guidelines of care and useful useful administration useful in education provides research methodologies and provides framework to guide inquiry of other theories that is grief hope laughter etc when it comes to the weakness the first one is research considered to be in a closed circle so most of the places parse uses the term sciencing instead of research and rarely quantifiable results difficult to compare to other research studies no control group standardized questions etc does not utilize the nursing process or diagnosis ne- negates the idea that each person engages in a unique lived experience not accessible to the novice nurse not applicable to acute emergent care and application of the theory in nursing practice so a transformative approach to all levels of nursing differs from the traditional nursing process particularly in that it does not seek to fix problems ability to see patients perspectives allow nurse to be with patient and guide them toward decide health outcomes nurse patient relationship co creates changing health part- health patterns and in research enhances understanding of human lived experience health quality of life and quality of nursing practice expands the theory of human becoming builds new nursing knowledge about the universal lived experience which may ultimately contribute to health and quality of life now let's see the application of nursing theory into the nursing practice here we are using the same data as we have used in all the all other nursing theories so the identification data name mrs james age 72 years and she is a it's female date of admission is 28 10 18 marital status widow two children lives away religion christian language in the english occupation volunteer worker interest gardening active in clubs diagnosis cva left sided and the chief complaints left sided weakness she is left handed personal and social history lives in her own home now in a four bedded room frequently reports difficulty in sleeping in the hospital until she was hospitalized she slept 6 to 7 hours a night 
has incontinence at times needs assistance in bathing uh, feeding etc she misses her friends and describes herself as mess believes independence likes to interact with her own age group so the steps of nursing process includes assessment nursing diagnosis planning implementation and evaluation so assessment and diagnosis do not fit with the theory as parse states the nurse client interaction is not limited by prescriptions so there is no assessment and nursing diagnosis and comes to the planning nurse is a guide not a decision maker interacting is evolving interaction is evolving so already we have seen in the uh, whole theory the concepts and the principles we have seen that nurse is not a decision maker so the the all decision is taken by the person or the patient or the human being implementation nurse serves as a guide to eliminate meaning guides Mrs. James to identify the personnel of the situation to her to synchronize rhythms lead. Mrs. James to recognize the harmony with her existence and to mobilize and transcendence guide Mrs. James to move from the present to what is not yet to dream of the possible of possible for her. So here mainly we are using the assumptions which which we are mainly we are using the themes which is used in her theory. And the evaluation, because the interaction is not limited by prescription, standards of evaluation cannot be created. Essentially, the nurse can evaluate if Mrs. James has identified personal meaning, recognized harmony and dreamed of the possible. So, thanks for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.